Kelly's Kitchen. Let me teach you a recipe and also make you feel really good about yourself. Hi, and welcome to episode five of Kelly's Kitchen. Today I'm feeling a little bit whimsical, hence the hair, and we have a little unicorn friend joining us. I don't know what to name him yet. I'm thinking lavender, cotton candy. Oh, that's easy. Sir Sugarcane. He is officially Sir Sugarcane. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Like, it's clearly his name. So today what we're going to be making is a recipe that I've enjoyed making for a while, and I can't believe that I forgot about it until recently. My original stuffed mushrooms. Also, this is going to be the first video where we're actually baking. So, yeah, this could either be really awesome or go horribly wrong. So let's see. And the topic we will be talking about today is being a nice human. So the vegetables we will need for this recipe are one carton of white mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, one bag of fresh baby spinach, two cloves of garlic, a yellow onion, and panko breadcrumbs. Not sure if that's how you say it, but they look like this. Okay, so let's start off with our mushrooms. The interesting thing about this though is instead of throwing out the stems, we are going to save them because we're using them as part of the stuffing. So when you de-stem these mushrooms, the point is that you want it to look like this inside so there's a hole for the stuffing to sit in. Sometimes you might need to use a knife to help cut the stem out a little bit because it might not pop out perfectly every time. So try your best to de-stem all of your mushrooms as cleanly as possible and remember to hold on to your stems. Now, some of these mushrooms are kind of tiny little babies. I would suggest trying to use as many big sized ones as possible. So like, this is ideal. But I use the little baby ones too, because you know, mushroom equality, obviously. Once we are done de-stemming all of our mushrooms, we're gonna put these to the side for now. They're gonna go on a baking sheet in a little bit. We are gonna have the stems left over in a bowl. Don't throw them out, hold on to them. All right, so next what we're gonna do is cut up our cherry tomatoes. This is a very cutesy episode of Kelly's Kitchen. I I mean, look how cute little they are. They're so tiny. They're like literally the size of my eyeballs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them up into little tiny slices. So as you can see, I'm cutting off the end and then I'm flipping it over and cutting directly down the middle. And you're gonna do that until you have enough to fill a fourth a cup. All right, so this is what we want right here and we are going to put it aside in our bowl with the mushroom stems, just kind of dump it on top. All right, so now we are going to chop up our half of a yellow onion. I would say the only thing in this recipe that I guess is semi a little bit unhealthy is the breadcrumbs, but you could even buy those in whole wheat. Yeah, there was whole wheat breadcrumbs. How awesome is that? I'm telling you, like when these are done, these are bent. Like I'm probably gonna devour them myself. All right, so once we are done chopping up our fourth a cup of yellow onion, we are gonna put it into the bowl with the mushroom stems and the tomatoes. And then we are going to take our two cloves of garlic. I've already cut the ends off of these and peeled them. And all we're gonna need is a garlic mincer, or you can do it by hand if you don't have one. So you just put it in like so, press it down, and all the garlic you're gonna want is gonna pop out the bottom. I still find this so satisfying, like every time I do it. All right, so once your garlic is minced, you're gonna put it off to the side and don't put it with the stuffing for your mushrooms because we are gonna be sauteing that. So this is step two. We're gonna actually be baking, how exciting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the oven to 375 and we're gonna put all of our mushroom caps on a baking sheet and I loaded it up with pan spray and olive oil. The olive oil is very important because they do tend to stick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all on here and flip them upside down. We are gonna put them in for about six minutes. I don't like odd numbers, <laughs> so six. All right, so now we have to start preparing our stuffing. We are going to chop these veggies up into little fine pieces so we can saute them and soften them up for the stuffing. I have this adorable little baby food processor. You can use a normal one, whatever size is fine. If you don't have one, you're gonna have to hand chop it, but it really isn't gonna take that long. But we're just gonna dump our mushroom stems and tomatoes and onions in here and we're just gonna pulse it a few times. And it looks like our mushrooms are done just in time. So we're gonna take them out of the oven and set them aside on the counter for now while we finish making our stuffing. So as you can see, I have our mushrooms that we put in for six minutes sitting on the stove right now. And I put our mix up tomatoes, mushroom stems, and onions in a pan on the stove with pan spray. Let's time it for about three minutes. 
Um, you can put some olive oil in there and we're just gonna let it, let it heat up a little bit. I would suggest turning the stove up to sort of a medium high, like a six or a seven. All right, so we're down to 30 seconds and it's starting to sizzle. So I would say now is a great time to add the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna add half a bag of baby spinach leaves. So just dump them right on top. So kind of just mix that around until the spinach wilts on top. Once the spinach starts to wilt like so, we're gonna turn it down to more of a medium and we're going to add our minced garlic right on top. All right, so me and Sir Sugarcane are going to talk about being nice humans. So what does that mean to be a nice human? Well, it means just like I described. Don't be a crappy person. I really enjoy being nice to people and I enjoy helping people. That's why I decided to add these pep talks into the videos. So once I started to become passionate about cooking and I found out that it really helped me in many ways, I figured I'd combine the two because I just wanna be there as a friend for anyone that feels alone. I've had a lot of people treat me like crap. Um, when I was a kid, I was teased a lot for being a huge dork because I did stuff like this. So not much has changed, I've just stopped caring. I've met a lot of people that were just mean and snarky and catty and they would lie to your face and then say something behind your back. And I know this all sounds like middle school girl talk, but trust me, there are adults that still do this. I feel like that's why so many people are just kind of afraid of each other. Like, okay, here's a good example. Did you ever give a complete stranger a compliment? Like you're walking down the street and you walk past someone and you say, oh, I really like your shirt, or your hair is really pretty, or you have a nice smile. I mean, like, not in like a super creepy way, but just like a genuine compliment. Do you know what people do most of the time? Do you know Sir Sugar Cane? He doesn't get it because he's a unicorn and his life is perfect. Usually they do this. Literally, I've done this multiple times. I've given strangers compliments multiple times, and they always have this little shy smile, and they look down or they look away. Like, they never hear that from anyone, especially someone that they don't know. I don't know, the fact that it's almost taboo to just be nice is, it just kind of says a lot about our society. Unfortunately, we live in a world in a society that's pretty cutthroat. Most people are out for themselves, and you know, if you want to survive, you do have to be a little bit out for yourself. You gotta be concerned about your job, your career. You gotta make sure that you can take care of yourself because we're animals and it's survival of the fittest. Unfortunately, we can't all be magical unicorns like Sir Sugarcane here, but we can try to be unique in that we actually reach out to others and we're genuine and unbiased and we're not catty. I'd rather just be genuine and come from a good place most of the time. And if people still don't like me for that or are still gonna throw shade, I'm trying to like stay up to date on like current terms that like the kids are using these days. Even if someone wants to not like me for whatever reason, why does it matter? Because you're just a nice human. There's no reason to not like a nice human. I just don't see why it's so hard to just be more vocal and reach out to people. I don't see why it's such an awkward thing. Like for instance, hi person watching this video, I might know you personally, but I probably don't. I think you're great and lovely and you are deserving of love, affection, and happiness in your life. See, I don't know who you are and I just said that and it wasn't awkward, it felt good actually. Just doing something as simple as reaching out to someone, giving someone a compliment, motivating someone, it could just make you feel awesome and it can make someone else's day and how great is that to know that you have that kind of impact? Why make anyone feel like crap if they didn't do anything to you? Usually people are jerks because they're struggling with some demons or they're insecure. I am 100% positive that most people that are jerks have things they're struggling with. And that's why they're jerks. No one is just born a jerk. No one just like comes out as a baby and is like, oh, you had a douchebag baby, congratulations. It's a tactic to make people feel strong and confident and in control. Or you could just let down your walls and be a nice human. That is our message about being a nice human, whether you're a human or a unicorn like Sir Sugarcane. And he is really nice, he's just a little bit sassy. So let's go check on our mushrooms. All right, so now we are going to finish our stuffing for our mushrooms. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a bowl and we're gonna take our panko breadcrumbs. And what we're gonna do is three fourths a cup of these breadcrumbs, all right? Then we're gonna take our saute veggies and we're gonna put them right directly on top of the breadcrumbs. So you're gonna have everything in the bowl like this. What? What, Sir Sugar Cane? Sir Sugarcane thinks that this doesn't look like filling. 
Well, that's what I'm getting to. God, he was so sassy. All right, so what we're gonna do is two tablespoons of olive oil right in. Seems like a lot, but once you mix it up, it works out. Next, we're gonna add a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this all up. So all of the oils from the olive oil and the oils from the veggies when we cooked it on the stove are gonna mix together. I was just sprinkling a tiny bit of extra olive oil on top. See, so once you mash it enough, it should be like this consistency, kind of like a little bit of a dough. So there's our stuffing. It's time for our final step before baking our mushroom caps. So what we're gonna do is stuff the mushrooms. So this is gonna get a little bit dirty, but it's fun. And we're gonna get a little bit of our stuffing in our hands and make like a little ball like this, a perfect size to put right on top of our mushrooms. Now I will say that this recipe definitely makes more stuffing than is called for, as you can see. But hey, who knows? You could do something else with it or you could always buy more mushrooms and make another batch. So we have all of our mushrooms stuffed. I'll give you a better view of it. This is what they should look like. Space them evenly apart on the tray. Um, even the little babies have some on top, so it's perfect. So we are gonna turn the oven down to 335 because we don't want them to shrink too much. And we're gonna put these in the oven for about 10 minutes. All right, so our mushrooms are out of the oven and they are complete, look at them. Nice and browned, perfect timing. Only 10 minutes in there and they're done. Okay, so here they are, my spinach and veggie stuffed mushrooms. Put them on a plate, they're the perfect appetizer for parties and there's really nothing unhealthy in them. It's just all vegetables with the exception of breadcrumbs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're tempted to try making my stuffed mushrooms and I hope you enjoyed the company of Sir Sugar Cane named today and keep being nice humans because it's a lot more worth it. I'll see you guys next time. Say bye, Sir. Say bye, Sir Sugar Cane. Bye bye. I really don't think that's the voice he would have, but I don't speak unicorn though, so who knows. See you next time.